Who doesn't love a good chicken pot pie, right? In the pecking order of comfort foods, this one tops the list. And editor-in-chief Tanya Steele of Epicurious.com is here with some slight twists on this classic dish. Now Good you, to see you. Do you like Popeye? I do, as a matter of fact. Oh my god. Like I said, yeah, I don't make them often, but I, I love them. Do you know that this has become the dish for fashionistas? Is it really? They, it's hot again, huh? It's totally hot. And in fact, in uh, Gourmet Live last week, they called it the posh pie, and I kind of love that. I think it's very cool for a humble thing like this. Well, that's why we're putting a new twist on it. Why do, you why do you think it's back? Because it's so comforting and delicious. Yeah. And I'm going to show you how to make it. And it's okay. actually pretty easy, too. Like it is. Mentioning. That's right. We're going to make a mini chicken pot pie with bacon and margarine. So. You can't go wrong. I know. I mean, you've already, what you've already. I've already won you over, right? <laughs> all all I had sold. to say was the word bacon. I'm sold. So what we have? We're throwing okay. some onions in so here. We've got some onions, and then you're going to throw in some carrots. Okay. And literally, you can race home at the end of the day and make this in half an hour. Half an hour. Half an hour for your entire family. And the great thing about pot pies is that you can make them into big sizes or little sizes. And that way you can entertain. It looks kind of an elegant yet yeah. humble way to, to do it. But right now, we're all healthy here. String beans, we're all carrots, healthy. onions. But this is where it gets delicious. Aromatic. But it, this is where it gets delicious, but not so healthy, though. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to add some margarine, and you can use sage or anything you got okay. there. And this is where it all gets really good. Totally okay? downhill. Okay. This, is where we, this is where we bring in the, <laughs> This is why we like it so much. Exactly. Creme fraiche. Okay. Now, if you want to be a little bit... Um, what is that? What is it? Creme fraiche. It's okay. like a, a thick, delicious sour cream, essentially. You could okay. use light sour cream if you're worried about okay. calories. But this isn't really the dish to worry about calories. About and you this know is what? comfort food. Exactly. And it's, you know, enjoy. Okay. Okay, so. And just white, this, you like the white meat, obviously, right? So just I do. White and this is what's so great about this particular recipe is you just go into the store right before you come home and you buy rotisserie chicken. Yep. It's so cheap. It's so fast. You just tear it apart. Again, this is something that kids can do with you. Yep. And then this the is where the flavor de comes out. And I promise I only took about five pieces out of this okay. to eat before. So there is something left you here saved for, some us. for us. I did, you. yeah. Okay. So. Fantastic. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. You okay. That bacon. <laughs> so, how long are we going to let this uh, simmer for? So, you let this simmer for about 10 minutes altogether. And what you do is you're adding some low sodium chicken broth. Okay. You reduce it. Uh, so, now we're bringing in low sodium. Exactly. Well, you know what? Uh, we're trying to be good here. So give me all this, <laughs> sour cream, bacon, and give me a diet soda. <laughs> so you've cooked it for about 10 minutes, okay. and it, you can see it right here. We've got this one. And then you just load up a little souffle dish. And again, you can do it, a big one like that. So you can just make it all for your family. Or you can make it a little bit more elegant. That's and this is puff pastry that you can buy in the freezer. OK, cut it into squares. Cut right? into squares. You buy it in the supermarket. And you just pop it in the oven like that. You bake it for 450. 450? Yes, for 20 minutes. That's it? Just 20 minutes? That's it. Just Seriously. check on it? Take a look, literally, see if it's golden? Yes, exactly. And literally, this, so this dish can be done in, in 30 minutes tops. I was kidding you when I said I don't make chicken pop pies. I actually do. So. <laughs> Look at you. Were you up all night doing this room? That's so you. nice of you. I like to experiment Look, the day. You've got, to, you've got to try that, too. Here. Let's see. While, oh, you got one. Okay. Got one over here. Let me yeah, try to get some. Right. Now, while you do that, I'm going to do this. Because there are a number of options, and that's the other thing. Exactly. We now, this is a much healthier summer version. you got some oh, corn, mm. zucchini. Very nice. Isn't that good? Excellent. A little bit of melted butter. Doing the whole fresh vegetable thing? Yep. Here? This is a fantastic one for summer. Now, you can also use spring vegetables, which you've got right now. Nice and light. And then if you want to add the Parmesan to the breadcrumbs. That would. And this is... Pop it right in. Exactly. Mix it. And this is what's great about... Uh, it's a different kind of way of doing a pot pie, right? Instead of just doing the, the crust. Okay, so you're going to yep. mix it. There you go. Very nice. How long is that going in the oven? This for? is going to go in for half an hour at 375. And you just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil. Yep. And this is what you have. Beautiful. Isn't that amazing? You and then a that is there. a lobster pot pie. OMG. <gasps> it's so easy to make, you too. You talk about a meal coming back with a vengeance. <laughs> You factor lobster into the equation? Tanya, I mean, we are going over the top. I here. know. Well, this that's, is good. You know, that's what I do. That pot pie is great. Isn't that great? Seriously. Very nice job. I can see why it's making a big comeback. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Tanya. Thank Very you. Nice.